Welcome to Australian Earth Science Education. In this video, you will learn about lahars, a sneaky and deadly volcanic hazard. Lahars are flows of mud, ash, and debris formed as a result of a volcanic eruption. As the mixture flows, it scours the landscape, picking up more debris. Lahars may travel more than 100 kilometers from the volcanic vent. This lahar in Armero, Colombia devastated a town more than 70 kilometers from the volcano. To add to the hazard, lahar flow may occur years after an eruption when debris is mobilized due to rain or if a dam at the edge of a crater lake breaks. Lahars on Mount Pinatubo, shown in the photo, flowed every rainy season for four years after the 1991 eruption and remain a hazard nearly 30 years later. The activity we are doing is a modification of the lahar in a jar activity published by the U.S. Geological Survey. We start by making a lahar mixture from different sediments. You will need three liters of sand, two liters of gravel, two liters of soil, a clay soil is best, and 600 mils of fine clay. Potter's clay is best if you can get it, but clay cat litter is easier to find. If using clay litter, sieve it and use the fine particles for your lahar. Once you have enough litter, mix the ingredients in a large bucket or tub. We are going to explore the effect of water content on lahar flow. For the experiment, you will need your dry lahar mixture, a measuring cup, containers for each of your experimental mixtures, and water. Pour 400 mils of lahar mixture into each container. Then add the desired amount of water. I'm adding 80, 100, 120, and 140 mils of water. Stir the mixtures with a trowel or stick and break up any chunks of soil. What differences do you observe in the mixtures? Now it is time to test your lahars. Find sloping bare ground for your test. You could also prop up a board to use for testing. I'm pouring out each of the lahar mixtures onto this sloping rock. Observe the differences between the drier mixture with 80 mils of water that was poured first and the wettest mixture with 140 mils of water that was poured last. All mixtures are poured at approximately the same height on the rock slope, but the camera is filming from an angle. How does water content relate to the distance the lahar travels? Did you notice any differences in the speed of travel? As mentioned in the introduction, lahars are formed by a volcanic eruption, but may be mobilized years later. What happens when it rains? I'm using a watering can to model the effect of heavy rain or storms. This occurs in the rainy season in many volcanically active areas such as Indonesia and the Philippines. What is happening to our model lahars? Try your own lahar experiment. Explore the effect of different types of soil or clay. You might time the flow down different slopes. If you have a pile of dirt, you can create a big model volcano and observe lahar flow. You can build channels to direct the flow and observe the effects of those. You can find out more information about volcanoes on the Australian Earth Science Education blog.